Let's play Knight of six. Play e6. I'll probably try to play solid this time, not go too far off the beaten path. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Should be on the right scene, right? Yeah, we're good. Good. Okay. Knight f3. Okay, now I have to decide. I think I'm going to play the Queen's Indian again. I mean, like I said, I have this against on Drake, and probably I could have searched her in a 16-minute break if I wanted to, but I don't really like doing that. So let's go check. We played some end game, which should have been a draw, as I recall, but... Castle. Plays queen c2, which I think is still a move, but I still just take, okay, and I go knight e4. Believe knight c6 is correct. I'm just trying to remember how this line goes. Using a lot of time here. See what he comes up with. I'm using a lot of time actually. So far so good. Can obviously move the queen. Hmm. Okay, it goes queen c3, which is a logical move. Um now I do have d5 here, which maybe is playable. I don't know if it's a good move or not. I also I think have knight a5 here if I'm not. Knight a5, b4, knight c4, queen c4, d5, and that's probably just a draw. If I play knight a5 and he castles, then f5 maybe. There's also f5, f5, knight two, queen f6, which probably is fine as well. But I think knight a5 is a good move here. Let me think for a sec. Knight a5. Looks like a decent move. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play it, put pressure on the pawn. Maybe f5, maybe d5. Maybe not such a great move, the more I look at it. See what he does. Okay, castles. I expected that. I think f5 makes sense here. He's thinking? Okay, I guess... Remove this. C5 is reasonable, but I don't love it. I can also just play like F4 or something, which is I think supposed to be fine here. I also go like Queen C8, Queen B7. C5 I'm pretty sure is okay after takes Knight B3. Let's just go for it. I don't know if this is right, but I I kind of want to just play a position here. So let's go C5. What he chooses to do seems like a decent decent idea 
goes rook d1 that's what i expected um queen c7 seems completely fine queen b6 also may be a move rook b8 also an idea as well okay i'm probably thinking too long though i'm just thinking too long about this position so i think what i should do is just play simple chess knight c6 knight b3 doesn't look right queen b6 queen c7 also looks fine yeah, queen c7 looks completely fine to guard everything. Goes knight f3. I expected that. Okay, rook b8 to move. I mean, rook a d8 with the idea of d6 seems pretty solid. Yeah, I think I just go rook d8 to guard the pawn. And probably I'm going to play like d6 might be something i don't love this position i'm gonna be honest I, I kind of don't really like it at all in fact but probably okay probably being the keyword i'm way up on time though which is good also i probably should just play d6 right away i don't know why i played rook d8 first but it is what it is as the old saying goes he goes rook d3 i expected that i think now yeah now now i will just play d6 and knight b7 of course this holds the pawn and go like rook e8 maybe i don't love the position but i think it's okay and the show goes on here as well that's the most important thing the show goes on there's no obvious way for him to be like much better there's no obvious way for him to be much better than i should be fine he's thinking too long as well what he's gonna do okay, it goes knight g5 which i kind of expected but i think i just go like rookie eight i mean unless his idea is to play f4 which maybe is an idea but i don't really buy it He's using way too much time here. I'm going to need to try to get something going. Knight h3. Okay, so he's trying to reroute his knight to like f4, I guess. I mean, I can go h6, g5 somewhere. I mean, e5 is also a move here. Like, it's not necessarily a move I want to play, but it's not the end of the world either. So, so if I play e5, what's his move? I mean, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know. E5 feels very, very committal. It feels almost too committal, but I'm going to do it. We'll see. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's right. Yeah, he goes Rook D5. I expected that. Um, okay, Rook F6 seems pretty obvious to guard the pawn. I can reroute the knight to F7. Or maybe C6 also. B4 I just take. Knight g5, just h6, of course. It does play knight g5, interesting. So if I go h6, knight f3, knight d8, what is, what is wrong with that, actually? I can also just play knight d8. Eh. Do I kick the knight or not is a question. Because knight d8 first is a very obvious move. Um, I think I should probably just kick the knight back first. Go here, maybe knight f7. 
Maybe I could have played A5 first. Maybe A5 first was better, but okay, whatever. Who cares? Also, after takes, takes, I still have knight B7, knight C5. So this probably should be completely fine for me. Yeah, it goes B4. I expected that. Now, question is, do I trade and go knight B7 back or not? Like, I think that's probably the correct play, but it's also risky too. Queen A4, okay. Hmm. Go knight B7 here. I mean, I don't know if knight B7, knight B7 feels kind of wrong somehow. E4, knight H4 doesn't look right. Okay, time's evening out a little bit, so I need to be careful here. Queen E7, I mean, C4. Realistically, though, I should never be able to lose this position. I mean, realistically. Rook c6 here. I also have just queen e7, which should be fine. So here, don't want to hang anything, obviously. Probably going to go e4 and f4 somewhere very soon. Queen b6 was also maybe okay. Yeah, I expected that. I mean, obviously, he's playing for the draw. This is not surprising. Um, problem is I am slightly worse here. That's the big issue. So if I go rook d6... E4, knight, D4 doesn't look good. E4, knight, D4, F4 maybe? Aggressive, but is it actually playable? Rook, C7, Queen, E5, A7. Queen, H5. I mean, it's... I don't know if I should go for it. E4 is what I want to play here, but... Queen, E6 is also, I think, completely fine. Trade, trade, rook d7, rook d7. The a, king h7, takes six, a6. Um, about this. We need six, take six, rook c7. Seven. Go and takes takes rook okay, six. I, th I mean, I think it's fine. So let's go for it. Here, ninety five. I just take and I'm fine. Look, like there's a little bit of pressure here, just a little bit. I'm gonna have rookie seven. It's not great though. Like I, th I think I am in a little bit of trouble here. Shouldn't be losing though. Like there, there really should be zero risk of losing. Let's see what he does. What I expected. I think I play rookie seven. Cause if I go here, then he is checking rookie seven. I'm losing. If I go. Ah, uh, but he can still trade a. Ah, uh, maybe I misplayed. Oh, maybe I misplayed this order sequence. Shoot. I go a6, rook c7, rook f6. Hmm, I think I did misplay this, but I still should be okay here. Go a6. Rook b8, rook a7, rook b2. E3, hmm. Two. I'm using too much time here. I think I have to go here. This is not what I wanted to play at all. Here. Ah, 
Uh, not a good position at all. It's not what I want to do whatsoever. It goes h4. I expect that. I can play g6 maybe. Problem is my time situation is not good. If I go e4, knight d4, f4 maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. Let's go e4 and f4. Just all in. Try to try to create counterplay as quickly as possible here. I'm up a minute, which is very, very important. If I wasn't up time here, this might be very, very dangerous. Because G4, I have some F3 tricks, I think. Or do I not have tricks? Oh, yeah, yeah. This might not be good. Um... so messy what am i doing i go g6 i think i'm okay here maybe what he does I'm still up on time time is probably gonna matter a lot here he goes a4 so now I think I have to go f3 if I don't go f3 I don't know what I'm playing for even Okay, so I go f3, takes, takes king g3, rook e4, rook c8, king g7, knight f3, rook, knight f3, h5, for example. Gh, gh. Yeah, I think, I, I think I've got to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see what he does. I'm going to play like rook e4 next move. Because now the pawn on a4 is hanging at the end of all these lines as well. So he takes, of course I go. Oh, did I just blunder again? I think I did, just great. I just blundered a pawn for no reason. Oh, okay. Snap out of it. And play rook f4, maybe rook f4 and rook e4. Or king g3, rook e4. I think let's go for this. I don't know if this is okay, but it's... I mean, knight h2, I have rookie 2 also. And it goes there, so I go rookie e4, of course. No tricks. g5, I check and go back, and I should be drawing. g5, I also have h5, maybe. If I'm feeling really chirpy and trying to win, but I don't know if it's good. Checks, okay. I mean, I guess I... I have to go to g7. Am I missing something? g5, just... Ah, oh, great. I missed knight e5, of course. Now I'm... Of course I missed this, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course I missed this move, and now I'm going to lose the game. Still, maybe it's okay. Ooh, 
Wait. I think I take and play H5 maybe. I mean, GH5 might also just be winning as well. It was F3. Okay, so F3. So, I mean, I... <sighs> I have to go A5, I guess. Or it's just a perfect game from him. Ah, <sighs> what to do? Perfect game. What to do? Literally a perfect game. Ridiculous. Once I allow this, there's nothing I could do. Queen C4. What to do? That's how it goes. That's uh, just life. <sighs> yeah, I should have played rookie four. I don't know why I didn't play rookie four here. It was the only move that was playable. Uh, and then rook a4 maybe. No, I missed knight e5, of course. I missed knight e5. And if I go g5, it's still losing, I think. Uh, wait, no, this loses. Yeah, just losing. It's frustrating. All right, I'll have to play a fast game in the second one and win. Then mm. no, rook takes f3. That was just a losing rook, rook and pawn end game. Should never allow, have allowed b4, c5, though. It simplifies the position too much. Just not your day. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been a good day, period. But oh, it's just frustrating to lose a game like that. Missing 95. I just need to move fast this game. Yeah, I just have to move fast. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, let's start the second game. Oh, so annoying. Yeah, it was a terrible game by me. I allowed C5, B4, and C5 just wasn't meant to be. Uh... Oh well, <laughs> how it goes. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna play in the second game. That was so stupid, too, because there, there's no need to lose that game. Like, right around here? There's, I mean, there was no need to go into this. Why, why did I do this? I should have played A5 also, but I did this. Yeah, and even even here, Knight E6 would have been fine. Because Knight F4, I just didn't see the tactic. Yeah, if I played Knight E6, I would have been fine. After this, he just played a perfect game. There's nothing I could do. Queen C4 is perfect. Yeah, I just played a perfect game after that. Never should have gone into this end game. 
So stupid. And especially stupid here to play F3. Because uh, knight E5 also apparently is holding now. This is actually a draw too. Not an easy draw to play, but still a draw. Nah, that's what it is. Alright, let's play a second game. Really annoying. Also, for anyone who's chat who is wondering, I am not going to play Division 2, just to be clear. So if I do lose, or if I, if I don't win this game, like, I'm not playing Division 2, just for anyone who's wondering. Um, Bond Cloud, no. No, I mean, the, the way I played just wasn't very good. Just wasn't good. Just poor. Somewhere you at E3? I mean, it's just stupid. The whole whole game was stupid the way I played it. Because basically, I was playing not to lose versus trying to um, try and create counterplay. Yeah, very stupid. But anyway, let's let's get going. Calm down. No, I mean I was fine. I just missed ninety five. Yeah. But I'll play something super slow, super slow and boring. I should go. It's going to be very quiet this game, most likely. I need to win this game. Thinking about the last one still a little bit. Okay, he's gonna move here. It okay, goes D4, so I mean I'm gonna get a Benoni here. Which is what I want, for sure. Like, see, maybe there's even bishop a3. It looks kind of ridiculous, but maybe it's a move. Oh, but he's knight c6, and I'm already feeling very unhappy with this game. Jeez, what am I doing? Yeah, I've already misplayed this. Unbelievable. Ah. <sighs> Go bishop a3, maybe? What am I doing? I've, I've just started this game off in a very, very poor manner. Um, think about this. What can I play? Okay, I'm just going to play random chess. Doesn't matter. Just play chess and, and whatever happens, happens. I just need to move fast. Fast and bad. I'm up a minute again on the clock. I really did not use that time advantage while last game. That last game, the way I used the time advantage was so abysmal. I don't know what he's doing here actually. Like what is this exactly? I 
I mean, unless he wants to go some Knight H5 or something, but... Actually, I'll pre-move this because this is the safest pre-move. takes probably he'll take I can take with the queen maybe probably I should just take with the knight to play the position keep the game going I'm guessing as long as I can keep this game going I think I'll get chances sooner or later I actually kind of I don't considering how bad the opening objectively was I don't feel that bad about everything here Castle. I don't feel so bad about my position. It's not it's not good, but it's not that bad either. If I go like g3 and bishop g2 and f4. I'm at least getting some play here that I probably don't deserve. Like if he goes knight d7, queen's two, knight c5, I can play rook b1. I expected that. Queen b1, maybe a move, maybe just queen g2 though. Yeah, let's go here drop the bishop back i guess or maybe play h4 even i also have rook fb1 maybe let's go mm, bishop b2 or bishop g2 i think i'll just drop back my goal is simply to go f4 here at some point i mean he's got f4 f5 or something well, let's see okay okay six so if i play f4 I think I should just play it. Why not? B6 logical. My rook ae1, bishop h3 also move. Um, okay, somehow I need to activate my pieces. How do I activate my rooks? My knight. Knight f3 is not a move yet. I'm wondering if there's something to sack upon here somehow. Like, I don't really want to play king h1, but I also don't see a good reason not to play king h1. Plays rook d8, which to me looks kind of suspicious. Doesn't look like the right move here. Um, I'll go rook f3, maybe. Like, I don't know if this is actually good for me or not, but it feels like... It feels like there should be some play down the road. I'm not sure how exactly, but it feels like there should be some play. So let's go queen d1, maybe. So at some point, I'm going to need to activate the light square bishop for sure. But really, the main thing here is I just keep the game. I just keep it drifting so it keeps going on. Like maybe bishop h3 somewhere soon. I don't really want to play h4 because then you can trade and go rook h6. Knight d7, okay. But that allows bishop h3 now. There's also c5 in here, maybe? Wait a second. Wait, c5, knight c5? No, that's no good. Let's go here, hit the knight. I'm not hanging the pawn, because of course he loses the knight. Some chances here for some tricks, maybe. Who's knight f8? Now, that looks very wrong. Um, ooh, that feels super wrong. I don't even know why, but it just it feels very wrong somehow. Wait, this, this feels wrong. Like, I can't quite explain why, but it feels wrong. If I go c5, queen c5, knight c4. Okay, six. Bishop c8, maybe? Queen C1's a move. Okay, I mean this. Knight C4, Rook K6, Bishop A. Okay, 
so I don't have c5 yet, but I do have bishop c8 here, maybe. Rook 6. Bishop g4 is a move. It's not the move I want to play. Bishop g2 also is a move. At some point, I need to go c5, though, at some point. We'll go bishop c8. Then queen d8. Ah, then c5, bishop... C5, or b4. There, wait, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here. But then he has knight a7. <sighs> if I go knight, knight a7, bishop f5 or something. Oh, it gets very murky. Bishop g4. I don't have a lot of time here, so I need to get go for something. I'm going to try it, though. So I also have c5, I've got knight c4. Some tricks here, maybe. Maybe. Probably I should have just gone back to G2, though. I mean, this, this doesn't look right. The more I think about it, the more this looks completely wrong. Yeah, of course he has knight a7. I don't have a good move now. I mean, I have to go like bishop g4 or maybe bishop f5. Go here. b6, bishop g4. I mean, this doesn't look right. Like I need, I need like one more move. I need my rook and my knight. I need like my knight on f3 to get the counterplay. Otherwise, I don't get it. But again, the show goes on. It's not, it's not like I'm just dead lost. Goes back to c6. So now I think somehow I need to get this in. So I guess I go rook f2 maybe. Rook f2. Because now after take six, I'm gonna get knight f3. And basically, I'm going to go knight f3 very soon. If I don't get knight f3, then I don't know what I'm, how I even attack anymore, so... I just have to keep the game drifting. I have to keep the game sort of drifting where it's not clear-cut. Let's work f6. I mean, bishop c8 again is a move, and I think I'm going to play it again. Threaten c5. It goes knight g6. So now c5 is in play. Still not a good move, but it's in play. I also can play f5. No, f5 is no good. Is bishop f5 a threefold? Wait, I have to make sure. What's the start of this position? This is the start. The bishop on h3, so I've only put the bishop on f5 once. Yeah, so I've only put the bishop on f5 once, so... Okay, now... I guess I'll go... This is only the second time that I've done this. Takes, which I'm kind of surprised by, actually. I'm very surprised by this decision from Andraken. Because basically the game is completely stable, and now it's not stable at all anymore. Wait, I'm very surprised by this decision from Andraken. Wait a second, this looks kind of wrong. If I go bishop c8... I mean, I can also go bishop g4... I think what I need is I need my bishop on d1 and somehow the knight on f3. So I think what I should do here... If he goes f5, then I have c5. Okay, 
Okay, slow down. Just take a second. I'm trying to figure out if Bishop H3 is better or what the best move is here. I feel like Bishop H3 is the right move somehow. I expected that. Go here. But I think this is... I think I've misplayed this too, because now, yeah, I have to go over G3. Queen H4, Queen F1. I mean, it's not clear. Like, I'm still kind of hanging in there. I really just need to keep this game going. That's what I need to do is just make sure this game keeps dragging on. Um, Queen F1 looks correct, unless I'm blind. Looks like everything's holding together here. Holding F4, Knight F3, big threat now. Knight F3, Knight G5, maybe a very big threat. Oh, maybe I... Oh, no. Did I have Queen G1? That might have been a winning... Wait, no. I guess he could just take, take, and run the king. That might have been winning. I might have just missed a win with Queen D1 and F5. Oh, no. I think that might have been winning. Whatever. The show goes on. I have to stay positive. Good things can still happen. And it goes 97. Yeah, the problem is I don't have it now. But I still have Queen G... I still have Queen G1 here, maybe. I go Queen G1. But now Knight F4 takes King, King F8, and I don't have any mate threats, of course. I go Knight F3. Wait, wait, wait. Knight F3. Queen F4. Knight G5. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Knight f3, queen f4, knight g5. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Knight f7. Maybe rook takes f rook takes f7. I think I might be winning here if I'm precise. He does have queen f6 still though. How is there no way to win this? This is insane. If I go C, ah, uh, maybe I have some C5 touch first, like C5. Oh man, it looks like this is winning, but I don't actually see how I'm, I'm winning here. This this looks so close to winning. Knight E5 takes six, queen F7, queen E5, rook F7. Seven, king H. I mean, how am I not winning here somehow? This looks winning. Takes h7, rook f6. I think that is winning. Okay, I've, I mean, I've only got two and a half minutes. I gotta go for it. Knight f4, knight g4. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Takes, takes, and I, I think I'm winning some crashing through on the f and g file, but let's see. It's a very, very important moment of the game. If I'm right, I think I'm winning here. Remove it. Yeah, if I'm right, I win the game here. And I think it's almost a forced variation. I don't think he has any other options. Because if, if he doesn't trade the knights, I get knight g4. And the house, I've also got knight d7 with this fork too. I think he has to go for this. And I think this is winning for me. But let's see. I think this is good. I think, I think I'm actually going to win this game. And he's getting super low on time, too. But I have to stay super focused. B3? What's that do? I go, ah, okay. He's, he's this one. I didn't see this one. Go here. Okay, I have F5, F6. Mm, still, a lot of, still a lot of play, though. Still very messy. If I want to win this game, the way that I should win is somehow I need to activate my bishop. 
But the knights are a problem. If I go here, how do I activate? This is the problem. G2, A4 is a move. It looks, I mean, I really don't feel like I have time to play A4, but I think I kind of have to. Yeah, I think I kind of have to play this move. It's not a move I want to play, but I think I kind of have to play because I think I need to keep every, every pawn on the board here. It was rook a3. I mean, bishop d7 looks correct. Rook c3. Now, I have queen h3 here. I also... No, I don't have f5. Okay, so he's trying to come with some cheese on the on the king side, I think. <sighs> Still a very tough end game to play. Like, very, very hard to win this. Um... Maybe I go here. And it's still very tough, very, very tough end game to win. But I think I have an idea here. I think I finally found the right idea. I go queen g2. And then I have f5 and it's, he's getting mated here. And now he has to go back, and now I start to push the P, and I think I'm going to win. Still very tricky, though. He still has queen h6. Go here. Knight f8. Why did I allow that? That was stupid. That was very stupid by me to allow knight f8. Go here. I want to go f5, f6 and just crush him. There's g6. Now I think f5 must be good. Yeah, because now there's bishop f7, which wins the game. Yeah, now I just win. I, I, think, I think I win the game. Yeah, I think I'm also c7 hangs too. Like, wait, wait a second. I have rook f3. And I think bishop f7 is gg. g6, king e8, g. Still not. Wait, what? Why did I play this move so fast? Or maybe I just take. No, actually, I think I just take. Okay, check. This, this should be winning. Bishop g6, knight g6, queen h3 looks pretty good. I also, wait, do I have check? Oh, do I have check and mate? Wait, wait a second, queen e5, queen e5, king g8, queen e8, queen f8. Let's sack the pokey main. Yeah. There we go. Big win. All right, we go to Armegadon. There we go. Oof, big win. No one asks how, but we do get the win. Yeah, no one asks how, but you get the win. Ah, so let me ask in Slack and see what we're doing now. Oh, big win. Um, um, So I think I think we bid, and I don't know if it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But that was a big win. Yeah, that was a big win. Good, good win there. Very, very important win. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Very, very big win. <sighs> Chess is hard. Yeah, it was a hard game. Yeah, basically the point is when I sack the queen, if he takes the queen, I have rook checkmate. It's just a GG, why not? 
and he goes here and then it's just I sack the queen again yeah it's a big win it's a big big win um Let me let me see. Let me see what it is. Yeah, I think he went wrong somewhere around here. It was it was still Yeah, somewhere around here H5 of course. A very human move H5 in black's better, but I missed F5. Yeah, somewhere wait, was Queen Queen G1 was winning, but it was winning because I've knight F3. Oh. It was winning for a different reason. Oh, I went here. What did I miss? Oh, F5 here is winning on the... Ah. I could have played F5 right away. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, because it's still very hard here. But, I mean, I found a way. Oh, it was 10 minute, 10 minute bidding. Lowest time gets the time and color of choice. Okay, I'm thinking... Uh, let me think about what I'm going to bid you guys. I'm going to get black in this game. Yeah. Okay, I made my bid. I made my bid. We'll see what I get. I'm going to go clear my head, stretch my legs, and away we go. Yeah. So basically, I have black and draw odds. So if I, if I lose the game, I'm eliminated. If I win or I draw, I move on to the big kahuna show. All right, you guys, let's go. Let's do it. 17 minutes. No increment in this game, which is why I need to be very fast. I'm already off to a very good start this game, by the way. <sighs> um, F5, of course. I think we're going to end up playing the exact same line, by the way. Which is kind of funny. I guess I'll just go knight before, trade the bishops. Draw it back, d5, knight e5, of course. There are a couple of important things about this position. First of all, I need to move fast. I'm down three minutes, but I need to move fast. This is step one. Plays f4. Okay, I kind of expected that. Um, so maybe rook d8. Probably I should play knight a5 somewhere soon. Plays e4, okay. Of course I take. Go here, hit the knight. Maybe knight e7, knight f5. I'm thinking on its time, basically. That's what I'm doing here. I've eliminated one of his one minute of his advantage already. Um, I guess I'll go here. I could have played H6 first, but who cares? Pretty straightforward for, for my plan. I want to go like Knight F5 and H6, maybe D6. This is pretty good. This is what I wanted. I wanted a position where I can play fast and he, he's using his time. Please <sighs> default. Oh, wait, okay. Now I have to think. If I take rookie one, 
Doesn't look what it takes. Rookie one, rookie eight. I should use some time here because this is a very critical moment. Um, and if I play h6, knight of 3 ed5, it's the same thing, kind of. e8. Knight of 5, knight e5. d6. Ah, shoot. I'm spending too much time. Let's just go for it. I can play rook d8, takes h6, knight of 3. Knight h4, probably. Thinking too long. Thinking way too long here. Um, let's go here. Takes, takes is fine. c5, knight f5 should be fine. Seven takes king trade is fine. Rook d8 I think is a very very good move by me if I may say so. Because after h6 knight f5 I think I'm I'm in, I'm in very good shape. So uh, or wait no not h6 knight f5 not h6 focus. Yes I go here first not h6 because then he has d6 knight f5 first think think. I'm feeling pretty good about my position, if I if I may say so. I'm only down one and a half minutes too. D six, I can probably take. I mean, the time advantage is slipping away. So I guess I pre move rookie eight. But I'm, I'm not talking because I'm thinking on his time right now. That's why I'm not talking. It was knight of three. I mean, of course, I should just play d6 here. To fix the structure. No jump. <sighs> yeah, if I play good moves, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lose this game because I'm already. I mean, I don't want to say I'm better, but. This pawn is a big weakness on d5 relative to d6. And it just feels very, very good. He's also running out of... Um, his time advantage is disappearing. He goes queen c3, which I think is a mistake. I think he had to go knight g5, knight e6. He missed it. So now, I think after h6, no knight g5 anymore. And I think I'm I think I'm think in it to win it. I think I'm better now. I think knight g5 and he's still a chance. I think d6 might have been a mistake. But I think knight g... Okay, he goes king f2. Okay, let's focus. Queen f7. g4, knight e7. Here. Okay, so if I trade, no oh, good. If I go G6, that's no good. I got a G5 maybe? Wait, G5? 5 H5. Maybe just Queen F6 maybe? Go here. Remove this, of course. I think I have G5 somewhere soon. There's B3. I think I'm going to... Let's go for it. Let's see. This is really simplifying the situation. So now it's like a situation where he has to come with something immediately. So if he doesn't have something right away here, like I have g4, queen b2, this could all just simplify very quickly. So I'm feeling very good about my position here. Very good, actually. Of course, I missed that. Ack. But so what? Let's go here. I did miss this move, but whatever. I'm still fine. Uh, I should not have played G5. I should have played G6. Why did I do this?
That was so stupid by me. It was F5, which... Hold on, just chop, I guess? Wait, I have H5? Okay, I don't want to burn my whole clock here. Wait, H5, H5, rook E6, H5, H3, queen H6, rook H1. H5, H3, queen H6, and G2. <sighs> queen G2. Um, come on, focus. King. Ah! Not what I wanted to play. Could still be a draw though. Now I'm up on time. Of course he spotted queen e2, which is a good move. Oh, this is going to be hard. I mean, I think I'm still okay here, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be tricky. I check takes rook d2. I mean, six takes rook c1 takes rook d2 rook a7 rook h2. The good news is I'm up on. Right, if I go rook e8 rook e5, e7 rook h4, e7 rook c3. Is that a draw? Of an a6. That is a draw actually. Wait, that is a draw. So. It's not the end game I want. Rook d2, king e4, rook a2, king d5, rook d h5, g4, king f6. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is messy, messy. I think I have to play this. It's not the end game I want, but I think it's okay. I'm thinking about this basically. Was king e4. I think I'm supposed to play h5 here in trade, but let me think about this. Still very hard to play. e2, rook a7. e6, rook e4 takes. Um, 2, king b5. King f6, rook b4. I, I, yeah, this is so hard. Why did I do this? Such a disaster. Five rook. I think this has to be correct. Still is H three though. I guess I take.
of rookie four, maybe. There should be a draw, but oh man, I don't know how to draw this. Shoot, I misplayed this. I'm losing now. I'm losing. I'm losing this end game. I think. I think I'm losing now. Oh, I misplayed this. I think I'm losing. Got rook B fought. Um... Maybe I'm drawing again. Maybe I'm drawing. Wait. Pack rookie six. G5, G4. Rookie six, G3, G2, maybe. I think I messed this up. Oh, was I supposed to go to H5? Oh, wait, go here? I think I might be drawing. Please tell me I'm drawing just once. I think I'm drawing. He's gonna have to queen, and I queen, and he's got no way through. Oh my god, that was so close to a loss. Rookie seven, I just trade. I think king h8 to draw, right? Check. I can always just block. Yes, I can always just block. Yes. Woo! I was completely lost. There we go. Oh my God, what a save. Woo! Praise the Lord. Oh my God, that was bad. Oh my God, that was so bad. But we survived. We survived, boys. That's how you get it done. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Yeesh! Somehow I survived. Oh, did my phone die? I guess my other phone died. Oh my God, it was so bad. Yeah, my other phone died, the backup camera. <laughs> Whatever, oh my God, what a survival. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. How did I survive though? Let's, let's see, I mean, oh my God, that was so bad. This is just always losing, right? Okay, blunders here. This is losing, right? Ah, B7's a blunder. Ah, rookie rookie three wins. Rookie three is the winning move and he didn't play it. Thank, thankfully. Okay. 
He goes here, and it's just a draw, right? G2. It's a draw. Oh, my God. What a save. Holy, 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 holy. Um, yeah. Holy, holy, holy. That was so bad. Oh, man. What a jeez. What a game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable save. Yeah. Unbelievable save. Yeah. No, but what did... G5 was a... I mean, G5 was so bad by me. Like, yeah, G5's... I mean, maybe it's okay, but it's like... I'm supposed to play H5, H3, and then Queen B2? And this end game... What's the... Wait, what's the difference? This end game is apparently a draw? So I can just sit on F6, I guess. For some reason, I saw a version of this endgame, but this is actually just a dead draw. So I have rook d3 and rook d5. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is... But this is also very hard to play. Like, this is really just a draw? I mean, too connected? This doesn't seem obvious at all to me. So yeah, probably here I should have been fine, right? Yes, this is where queen f6 was wrong. Rook e7 was a better move. I didn't play... Ah, rook e7. Yeah, rook e7 because after takes, takes. Now the pawn is always glued. You can never move anything off. Yeah, so it goes here. G4. I mean, I guess it's a draw anyway, but there's probably something... I think probably in retrospect I should have gone queen f7. Yeah, G, I just missed g4. I just missed g4. That's why That's why I played g5. But, um, yeah, that's what it is. It is what it is. Like, just totally insane. Completely insane. Um, yeah, it's just like nuts. Completely nuts. Like, totally nuts. I mean, you're using Stockfish 16 Lite is pretty bad at evaluating. You should switch. Yeah. I mean, but this is also an example of, like, computers showing why endgame. I mean, it's so insane that this endgame... Like, I, I, I saw Queen Takes Queen. Um, yeah. Yeah, I saw this endgame basically. I, I thought this endgame was always dangerous, basically. Like, I, I just assumed this was a very dangerous endgame. I think it is. But, yeah, I mean, it's just an insane save by me. Insane save to, to move into the top bracket, you guys. I make it into the top bracket where I will be joining Magnus Carlsen. Noterbeck, uh, Geary lost. Okay, so who made it? I made it, Geary made it, or I made it, and some other people made it. Yeah, it's all good. So... Yeah, I found the defense, thankfully. I saved the draw, and um, yeah, I, I make the draw, and we move on. We move on to uh, to Division One. So on that note, you guys, I think I am going to call it a day. I think I'm going to go do a recap of the Hans match versus Vladimir Kramnik, because uh, that's obviously going to be very, very hype for, um, for YouTube. So I think I'm going to call it a day, you guys. I sneaked in finishing eighth, and I just barely saved it by the, the, by the, by the hair on my chinny chin. chin. So <clears throat> on that note, I'm going to call it a day, you guys. Let me figure out um, uh, who we're raiding. I think we're going to send the raid to Benjamin Box. So yeah, I'm going to call it a day, you guys. And um, make sure to check out my YouTube channel because obviously I'll do a recap of the match between, um, between, uh, between Hans Niemann and Vladimir Kramnik. And that'll be on my YouTube a little bit later. So I'm going to call it a day, you guys. Hope you enjoy the stream. Insane stuff. But we move on to Division 1. So I will stop right there. And I'll see. we're going to send the raid to Benjamin Bach. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. I think on Twitch for the first three hours. And then we're going to come over to Kick for the second title Tuesday. So it's going to be a very, very hype of hype um, hype day tomorrow. So I'm going to call it a day. I'll see you guys then. Send the raid to Bach. We're on a slight delay. But I thank you so much to all you guys for hanging around and joining the stream. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the Twitch and Kick extravaganza during title Tuesday. See you guys then. Bye, you guys.